Acorn Squash, I gotta say, you really sent me down the rabbit hole with this ultimate guide you sent over. I thought I knew a thing or two about this fall favorite, but this deep dive is about to change the game for me. I'm excited to dig in. We're going way beyond basic roasted squash today, right? Absolutely. What I find so fascinating about acorn squash is like, how many people see it as just a simple side dish. Yeah. You know, but it's so much more than that. Once you unlock its nutritional powerhouse status and really start getting creative in the kitchen, well, it becomes clear that this squash is a true unsung hero of the produce aisle. Unsung hero, love it. And this guide is not messing around, it jumps right into the nutrition, which honestly really grabbed my attention. As it should, acorn squash is truly packed with vitamins and minerals. We're talking vitamin C for immunity, a good amount of fiber, but what I find really impressive is the bone building minerals, you know, like magnesium and manganese, that you don't always get enough of from fruits and veggies. See, that's already more than I knew. I always associate vitamin C with like oranges or bell peppers. Never would have thought to look at a squash. Exactly. And it gets even better. Acorn squash is a surprising champion for blood sugar regulation, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. It's got a low glycemic index, which basically means it doesn't cause those rapid spikes or crashes in your blood sugar. Okay, hold on. I have to admit, to me, acorn squash always seemed way too sweet to be that good for blood sugar. Like it's nature's candy bowl. That's such a common misconception. And I get it. It does have that naturally sweet flavor. But it's the way those sugars are absorbed that makes it a fantastic option, even for folks watching their glucose levels closely or those with diabetes. Wow. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Plus, that slow and steady energy release is something we can all benefit from, right? No more afternoon slumps. You've officially blown my mind. And I'm starting to see why you called it an unsung hero. But before I go stocking up on every acorn squash at the market, let's talk selection. How do we make sure I'm getting the cream of the crop? So we're on the hunt for the perfect acorn squash. And I remember the ultimate guide mentioned something about weight, right? Like how heavy it is. Yeah, that's a great place to start. When you're picking one out at the market, um, try to find one that feels a little heavier than you might think for its size. Okay, that's an easy enough test, but why is that? Why is a heavier squash better? Moisture. A heavier acorn squash means it's full of moisture, and that means incredible flavor and texture when it's cooked. You want one that's nice and plump and juicy on the inside. Makes sense. I used to just kind of grab any squash that looked nice and shiny. This whole heavy for its size thing is a game changer. Now the guide is really singing the praises of roasting. Is that how you like to cook it? Oh, absolutely. Roasting acorn squash is my absolute favorite way to bring out its natural sweetness and that like nutty flavor it has. All right, you've convinced me. And speaking of roasting, when I was reading that simple roasted acorn squash recipe in the guide, I saw this tip about adding butter to the cavity and I have to know more about that. Oh, it's such a simple trick, but it makes a world of difference. It feels like a secret ingredient or something. It's all about how heat works, really. Uh -uh. So fat, like butter, conducts heat way more evenly than just air, right? Well, yeah. So while the squash is roasting, the butter melts and infuses the flesh of the squash, and it creates this incredibly rich, almost custardy texture. You're making me hungry. But yeah. it's not just about the texture, though, right? Exactly. That buttery richness also brings out even more of the acorn squash's natural sweetness. <laughs> and, you know, we talked about how it's surprisingly good for blood sugar control. This ties right back to that. Oh, how so? Well, when you maximize those natural flavors, you're less likely to crave added sugars or other toppings that might not be as good for you. That's a great point. So we're getting amazing flavor, amazing texture, and we're keeping things on the healthier side. It's win, win, win. But the ultimate guide doesn't just stop at roasted halves, does it? This is where things get really interesting for me. Acorn squash pasta. Acorn squash in salads. It's like this guide opened my eyes to a whole secret world of acorn squash I never even considered. I know, right? It really makes you see this humble squash in a whole new light. Totally. So out of all these incredible ideas, which one really jumped out at you? Like, what are you dying to try? Okay, the one that totally blew me away was the whole concept of acorn squash as a pasta alternative. Oh, yeah? The guide even had this recipe for acorn squash spaghetti where you roast the squash and then, like, scrape it so it makes these strands that look just like spaghetti. So clever. I'm picturing it now. It's like colorful, flavorful, and a fun way to sneak in extra veggies. 
But does it really work as a pasta substitute, I mean? Totally. They were explaining how when you roast it, the flesh of the acorn squash gets so tender that you can scrape it out into these strands, and they really do resemble spaghetti. Okay, that is brilliant. I am all about tricking my taste buds and thinking I'm eating something indulgent when really it's a healthy swap. Exactly. And speaking of healthy, this is another win-win. Fewer carbs than regular pasta, plus you're getting that good dose of fiber and all those vitamins and minerals we talked about before. Sign me up. Acorn squash spaghetti is officially on the menu for next week. You gotta let me know how it turns out. Oh, I will. This whole conversation has been eye-opening. I came in here thinking, all right, let's master basic roasted acorn squash, but now... Forget that. I'm dreaming bigger acorn squash pasta, acorn squash pie. The possibilities are endless. I love that. Speaking of, I have a challenge for all our listeners out there. Think about your favorite fall recipe. Could acorn squash be its newest star ingredient? Let us know, because after this deep dive, we are officially on Team Acorn Squash.